You're watching a new edition of World Insight with me, James Chow. We're here in Beijing, and coming up next is 30 minutes of all the news in all the news headlines. Let's get started now with our opening report. Well, here is our first story as we turn our focus to Japan. A potentially historic general election began on Sunday in what is the world's second largest economy. Opinion polls indicate that the ruling Liberal Democratic Party is heading for defeat for only the second time in 50 years. It's also predicted that the opposition Democratic Party of Japan will win by a landslide. No matter who comes out the victor, the Japanese have made it clear that they're fed up with the way things are. On a small puppet stage in Tokyo, the political fight between Prime Minister Taro Aso and opposition leader Yukio Hatoyama is being played out. <laughs> they are actually scrambling for the chairs in the parliament like the puppets fighting for a toy chair here. Comedy mirrors reality. The competition is fierce. The LDP, led by Taro Aso, focuses more narrowly on economic growth. We will achieve economic growth of 2% by the second half of 2010. The DPJ, led by Yukio Hatoyama, stresses social welfare. Our aim and our only goal is to do politics with people at the center. Voter enthusiasm is high. According to a survey of the Internal Affairs Ministry, in the five days as of last Sunday, over three and a half million people had already cast their ballots in the pre-election voting. That's 50 percent more than in the run-up to the previous election. Many voters think this is a historic election. What they're deciding is no longer which faction of the LDP will win, but which party will win. Earlier this week, both Aso and Hatoyama cast their ballots early. The Prime Minister looked relatively somber, and his rival was beaming. According to public opinion polls, the Democrats could win more than 300 of the 480 seats in Parliament's lower house. The LDP is likely to see its strength more than halved to below 150 seats. But figures don't tell the whole story. There's a huge possibility that the opposition Democratic Party might win the general election. However, this doesn't mean that the Japanese people are fully supporting the opposition leader. It's only because the people have given up on the ruling party and they're seeking an alternative to replace the ruling party so that a true strong leader will come out of this competition. Since its founding in 1955, the Liberal Democratic Party has governed Japan nearly uninterrupted. 36 Prime Ministers of Japan have come from this party. But again, the numbers aren't the whole story. There have been four Prime Ministers in the past four years. I think the majority of Japanese people began to see that the LDP's politics will not work any longer. Just a week after Taro Aso took over in 2008, the global financial crisis hit hard. He immediately unveiled a 51 billion US dollar economic package, but it didn't stop the slide. In December last year, Honda quit Formula One. Sony cut 16,000 jobs worldwide. Toyota suffered its first operating loss in almost 60 years. The country is snared in its worst economic crisis since the Second World War. I am doubtful whether the LDP fulfilled their responsibility and met our expectations. Meanwhile, cabinet members created embarrassments for the Prime Minister. In February, Finance Minister Shoichi Nakagawa appeared to be drunk and fall asleep at a G7 news conference. あの、
Scandal dragged Aso's approval rating below 10%, and the Prime Minister got himself into further trouble. This week, Taro Aso told the nation's youth that they shouldn't get married if they can't afford it. Last month, Aso said Japan's senior citizens should keep working to pay taxes, implying that's the only thing they're good for. Many Japanese are looking forward to a change. I want Japan to proceed to a two-party system to avoid a situation where the power is focused only in the hands of one party. And Hatoyama's catchphrase of changing the government resonates deeply with many. With their support, we will replace the LDP's cold-blooded politics with a new politics, a warm-hearted politics. Please give up power to make this change happen. But the public is still unsure about this young party. The decade-old DPJ has no experience of ruling the country. I hope the DPJ will take up policies which are truly for the benefit of the people and Japan instead of mere popularity. But I cannot yet judge whether the DPJ taking power will turn out to be positive or negative for Japan. Masks of Taro Aso and Yukio Hatoyama are being produced in a factory on the outskirts of Tokyo. The factory experienced a boost in sales for masks of Aso in the run-up to the last election. But this time, they've only sold about 100 or so Hatoyama masks. Hatoyama is somewhat lacking in the interesting department. If you wear his mask now, all you can really say is, government change, government change. So we hope that he'll cause some sort of stir and bump up sales. The DPJ promises to introduce a child allowance, cut road tolls and taxes on small businesses. But these goals are hollow when the financial tsunami is still churning. Japan's national debt is 180 percent of its GDP now, the highest ratio in the rich world. If the DPJ could take over, fiscal policy is a big issue. If it won't increase taxes, where will the money come from? The DPJ has also had its own troubles. Former party chief Ozawa Ichiro was forced to resign in May over a funding scandal. And current leader Hatoyama's fundraising has come under scrutiny. Some critics say the Hatoyama's biggest advantage is that he's not Aso. Japanese dissatisfaction with Aso is far beyond uneasiness about Hatoyama. Opinion polls give Hatoyama a two to one margin over Aso. Puppet craftsman Mitsuaki Tsuyuki has made five politicians starting from former Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi five years ago. He originally had no intention of starting a collection. I first handcrafted Koizumi and was going to add new ones whenever new Prime Ministers came, but they replaced their leader every year, and I got tired of making new ones. I may quit adding to my collection. Tsuyuki says this Hatoyama puppet will be his last. For many Japanese, what they want is to change Japan's daunting structural problems, not the leaders' faces. Well, the LDP has only briefly lost power back in the early 1990s, but even then, it staged a miraculous comeback just 11 months later. If the DPJ wins the election as predicted, it can't afford to underestimate its main rivals. As for the Liberals, though, whether it wins or loses, it needs to overhaul its rotting system. Up next, we'll tell you about the Lockerbie bomber as he goes free.